In this video, we'll have a look at the, uh, the last project actually in the old sixth section on PreCodeCamp. Uh, they've obviously remade PreCodeCamp a bit now, so now it's the second project in the information security project section. Uh, but when I did this, this was actually the last section in the information security and quality assurance projects. So we'll be looking at this. Um, it's I think the, the last JavaScript project, the other ones are Python. Uh, so this one is node focused, like the other ones we've done. And we will be building an anonymous message board. So basically like Reddit, for instance, um, or well, any other forum, but I guess that's the most common one nowadays. Um, This project will utilize full CRUD functionality and it will do so in, well, for, for several different endpoints really. So this is a somewhat complicated application and because of that we, we get a lot of stuff for free uh, that we don't have to do ourselves, which is good and bad. On, on the, the bad end is obviously that we, we don't have to do as much as, uh, as we should have to do. Uh, on the flip side, if we actually had to do what <laughs> what has to be done to be able to make something like this, we will be looking at so many hours. I think this is estimated at like 300 hours uh, in total for this whole section. But this project alone would be like 300 hours if you did properly, I think. So, to shorten that and to just focus on what we actually need to learn ourselves, uh, we get a lot of stuff for free. Um, this is your typical forum app. A user can create a post and that post can be commented on by people. And they can post both comments to the post and comments to other comments. Uh, but you can also have different uh, forum boards. So just because you have a forum doesn't mean that everything is on the forum page, right? You have different boards where you can post these threads and these th threads do have comments and comments on comments and so on. Um, so that's basically what we'll be doing. And in this project, unlike every other project really on FreeCodeCamp, will actually be, actually be utilized in the clean code practice I spoke about in the first project in a more serious way. We will be dividing the app into different controllers. Um, but as usual, we'll start by just getting the code down. So we go to GitHub repo and copy this and we'll go to our folder and just go ahead and Git clone this. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so, and then we can just open the folder. Right, that one. Message, message board. So, um, this project will look something like this. So we have a lot of user stories, as usual. We know that. We have a board that's I mean, like uh, B test and B general. I think B is supposed to be board, uh, but this is our endpoint. So here on general, we have a lot of threads, and if you have something like this without moderating it, you get a lot of, of these threads. This is people like you or me who have just committed things. And if you look through these, you sometimes find something like this. This is actually somewhat moderated still, uh, because sometimes you actually get a lot of um, profanity replies, I suppose we could say. But th anyway, this is what we're supposed to make. So we can post a new thread. And if you post a new thread, we can post a new thread to a board. And it could be an existing board, and it could be a new board. If it is an existing board, well, then the thread is posted to that board, obviously. If it, the board doesn't exist, I think, 
I, if I remember this correctly, at least, then the board is created. So we get a new board that we can post at thread 2. Um, what you can't do here, which is not really an issue here, well, it's that you have this board in general, right? But if you don't know names of other boards, you can't actually really find them unless you guess. But we'll not bother with that. Um, so close that down. We'll go, can close that down as well. So that's basically it. Uh, one more comment, and that's that they have this uh, REPL.IT URL that you can write your code on. Uh, they didn't have that when I wrote this. They still use the glitch then. But like with the other projects in this and the last section, um, I think you should use you should do this locally at this point. So that's what we'll be doing. And and this is our repository. We have the bash file. Uh, maybe it's a bit larger. So. Uh, and we can ignore this completely. Don't need to do that, anything here. We have a profile file. Don't need to do anything here. Hyperdev assets and this REPL.IT. All of these are just yes, stuff we can ignore. Git config is pretty good to have, but we can ignore it as well. And we obviously have a package.json here and a package lock.json. We have a server, a test runner. The test runner is ignorable as well, as usual. Don't have to care about that. Uh, we did bring down the code though. So if we open up the terminal, we can just go ahead and go for an npm install. And with that, we get the node modules folder. And since we don't want to push that later on, we should probably go ahead and create a git ignore file where we ignore node modules and the .env file that we don't have we're gonna create right now so and with the .env file uh, like in the previous videos we actually need to go ahead and create a and uh, we need to go ahead and npm install .env um, like so. And in our package JSON file, we want to go ahead and I'm not sure how much I want this. Let's keep it like that. Uh, in here, we want to go ahead and look at the versions here. Um, if you start this project now, you should probably use the latest versions of everything just yes, to go from there. Uh, when I did this, there were a few different versions that I used. So, actually, this one I have I on all. Uh, .env can keep, of course, we don't care about. Shy is probably something we should upgrade a bit, like so. We have body parser, which is at 1.19. Helmet. Uh, is a 3.21.2 and we have mocha at 6.2.1 and mongodb is actually version 3 that's somewhat important that we have and uh, for this to work and then we have zombie i'm not actually sure what that is um anyway we use those we have helmet, that's good. We need that. We have express, we need that as well. And with that, we can add a script here as well, as usual. And this script is obviously going to be the mocha tests. Uh, so we're going to write test. We're going to write no and with now. Here, do we have. Uh, no. This is actually an application we could have unit tests for, but uh, we're not gonna add that. So mocha ui tdd dot slash tests, which is our folder, and slash two underscore functional tests. So that's it. Yes. And so now we can run the application and we can run the tests. 
Tack för start application of that. Uh, so from the start. So and with that we should be able to do this. Yes. And here we have oh. um and as you as I said, we have a lot of stuff for free here, right? We have these forms already and these are Ajax prepared already, so we don't have to do that. We can actually go to this endpoint even because it already exists, we don't have to create that. Um, we do have to do the rest though. And with the rest, uh, I'm actually for once gonna do the CSS file. Not a lot, but a little bit because I think that with the message board we kind of want to have some sort of styling. So I'll add a dark gray color as the background and I'll add more light gray as the color for letters or text and then we'll have a uh, links actually and there we'll have 2995e3 and that's just to, to be able to see, see them better to, against this background and um, we have margin less yeah that's already here okay two. They have a lot of stuff already, obviously. We don't have to change that much. Um, I'm just going to have to look through what we actually need and what we have already. ID, submit, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add collapse uh, user stories and uh, expand user stories. So, and we do 200px width. And 50 face in height. And background color is gonna be a light gray. And with that, we can have a color that's just straight up black. And we'll have more than 50 px and the px. And we can go ahead and have a new thread with the input type is submit. And I'm just going to copy that and we will have a new reply that's the same and in here we have border none we will have background color 00 c c 0 0 and oops that has to be a symmetrical no um padding left will be 5px and we'll have a padding right that's also 5px we'll have a report red actually let's do this so so this is going to be a report thread and report reply and in here we will have border none, uh, color is light gray, we'll have a background color that's red I think, uh, and padding left by px and the same for padding right. Uh, so. And that's the CSS we're, we're going to need. I'm just going to close that. Uh, we'll obviously have to do something with the server file as well. So if we go in here, we can see that we have Express already. That's good. We have Expect here. Don't have to care about that, really. Uh, we don't have to change these bars though, because having those is annoying in the model app, I think. And uh, let's change those const. Uh, we have Express, we have the app for Express, we don't have a helmet. Uh, so we need to go for const helmet is equal to require helmet. Uh, so, and we'll also need a const.env is equal to require.env.config and that's a function. Um, so below app here, we can just go ahead and go for app dot use helmet. 
Sorry. And we can also go ahead and that's probably we have other functions. Yeah, we do. Uh, so that's it. Uh, helps function though. So, oh yeah, we have, actually have to do one more thing because if we look at the readme file, we can look at that. No, we cannot. Look here. And we have a only allow your site to be loading an iframe on your own pages. That's uh, something that's not included in the helmet. It do not allow Nginx prefetching is included, but this one is not. Uh, so you need to add a specific case for that. Uh, I think, no wait, both of these are included. This one is not though. Only allow your site to send a referrer for your own pages. This one is not included in the helmet. And to get that, we simply have to do app.use helmet.referrer policy. And that policy needs to be uh, same origin. So, and that's it. So, as usual, it's not that difficult to use helmet, we just need to remember to include it. Um, I think that's it for that, yeah. And we also have the, if you go to board.html, it's in views, this one. Um, here we have to do a quick edit and it's if we go to hidden count here, um, below this we have a thread of push, uh, and all of this is sort of pushing to an array that's up somewhere. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Whatever. Uh, ah, there. Anyway, <laughs> and here's a frustrated developer. Anyway, um, here we have a sort of uh, function. Uh, no, it's, it's a statement list. And this one we need to change. So we'll have the thread approach and we'll have the HTML tag. Um, but this one. Uh, we actually need to change all of this to be a template literal. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and remove that. And instead of la dot the reply count, we can go ahead and have la dot replies dot length. And so replies total. And then here, inside of the parentheses, we can have a is n a n hidden count. So we'll hidden count. So, uh, so here we have a ternary. And if there's no, if there's a hidden count, then this is going to be none. And otherwise, we we'll just go for hidden count. Um, Yeah, so, and remove those as well, let's see, um, so stuff here, see, so, 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 ah, so, I think, no, wait, this function, all right, um, so you have a hidden count here, and if this is empty, if this is not a number simply, um, then you just should not show none, and otherwise you show the uh, hidden amount of comments, because that's what this is really. This is showing how many comments are hidden, and if we don't do this, it's going to show not a number for the front end, and we don't want that, obviously. Um, let's see, I think we need to change that as well. And um, so, 
href and then we just go do that and plus lint and then we'll have another one of these and we don't plus them so see the full thread here yeah it should be that so um and just to say it i suppose you know that by now but uh in this file we also have a lot of ajax calls here um that we make use of really and uh, that we don't really care about uh, and that's the same for these files as well we have a lot of these ajax calls that we use um that's going to be enough for this part this video is going to be in six parts actually because it's so many things we have to think about and i need to sort of split it up somehow i think to make it a bit more uh, easily overviewable or whatever you would say that <laughs>